Opening day is like a national holiday, but there's lots to celebrate even if you're not a baseball fan after last year's pandemic shutdown. Truly a new beginning. We have live team coverage. Look at that five box there. Rob Ellis tracking the temperature for that first pitch. And Matt Zahn is live on a Wrigley rooftop as the players prepare to take the field. But we begin with Mugo Udigwe, who's looking at the safety changes Cubs fans can expect as they're lucky enough to enter the ballpark, some 8,000 of them. Yeah, Ryan, first of all, I just have to say it is starting to get busy out here already. You can feel the electricity in the air. If you look behind me right now, you can see a few fans are out and about. You can see the red and blue people standing outside. We've seen a lot of people standing outside this morning. And you get it is cold outside right now, and the game does not start until this afternoon, but it is not stopping them. Today is Ryan and Angie Shasson's first home opener. And it's Wrigley Field. You know, I've only been here four or five times my entire life, so I'm just excited to be in Wrigleyville. I am very excited. This is actually my first Cubs game where I get to be inside. And neither the weather nor the changes inside the ballpark will stop them from enjoying opening day. We're lifelong Cub fans. My dad's a Cub fan back in Oregon, and my grandfather was a Cub fan, so... I'm pretty excited. But what will the fan experience be like today and as the season rolls along? First up, a mask. If you are two years and older, it's required the entire time you're at the stadium, unless you're eating and drinking. There'll also be a touchless screening process, so purses, wallets, and keys will all stay with you. No need to pull them out. Tickets will be available as mobile tickets. Each ticket will include an assigned entry gate and time, as well as assigned concessions and restrooms based on seating location. You'll be able to scan that same mobile ticket on your phone at a self-scanning machine. Once inside, you'll be seated in pods, and there'll be seats of no more than four in each pod. As for how you pay, whether it be at concessions or the retail store, everything will be cashless. That means credit cards only. If you've brought cash with you, we do have some reverse ATMs in the ballpark to convert cash into a payment card. And expect to see lots of signage around, as well as hand sanitizing the stations. The goal, after all, is safety. It's our highest priority, uh, but we also think that we want this to also be a friendly and inviting experience as well, and we think we've done both. And fans like Ryan will tell you it doesn't matter what's different this time around. They'll follow the rules as long as they get to watch the Cubs play. Go Cubs! Go Cubbies! So I asked Angie why she loves the Cubs so much. She says it's because her husband, Ryan, loves the Cubs. So basically the couple that loves the Cubs together stays together. Audrina. <laughs> Muga, thanks so much. Appreciate all that from Wrigley Field. Well, the ceremony 